Tourism and fishing lie at the heart of the Maldivian economy due to the rich marine ecosystem. And in the latest, a group of, sci of scientists believe that they have discovered a previously unknown ecosystem under the depths of the Indian Ocean. Our next report looking at this new, newly discovered ecosystem, which is viewed as a success on a range of scientific fronts. Scientists on the Nectar Maldives mission believe they may have discovered a previously undescribed ecosystem, the trapping zone, that is creating an oasis of life 500 meters down in the depths of the Indian Ocean. The discovery has been hailed as hugely significant by the Maldives government. Although more scientific investigation is necessary, the ecosystem has a long-term potential to be exploited as a new commercial fishery that would augment the Maldives tuna industry, which is currently the mainstay of its marine economy. Video evidence from the Necton science cameras aboard the Omega C Master 2 submersible, combined with biological samples collected and extensive sonar mapping, point to the megafauna predators such as sharks and other large fish feeding on swarms of micronecton, small organisms that can swim independently of the current which are trapped against the subsea landscape at the 500 meters mark. These organisms typically migrate from the deep sea to the surface at night and dive back into the deep at dawn, otherwise known as the vertical migration, the largest nightly migration on Earth. The trapped animals are being targeted at the 500 meter mark by large pelagic predators, including schools of tuna and sharks, along with well-known large deep water fish, including the spiky Oreo, named after the biscuit, and Alfonsino. We found the trapping zone at about 500 meters depth. Uh, this is a zone where fish migrating from the surface at dawn are trapped against the sea floor and they uh, create a food source for predators which are resident at that depth and they come and feed on those fish that are trapped against the seabed. Those predators, uh, some of them are not known from the Maldives until now and uh, they're commercially valuable and so may form a new fishery for the Maldives in the future. We're particularly intrigued at this depth. Why is this occurring? Is this something that's specific at 500 metres? Does this life go even deeper? What is this transition? What is there and why? And that's our critical question that we need to ask next, is why are we seeing the patterns that we've observed on this expedition? And that will enable us to understand that deep ocean in so much better terms. The Maldives Fisheries Minister, who visited the Necton mission on its final full day at sea, was briefed on the new trapping zone. Dr. Hussein Hassan also praised the mission for mapping a deep ocean seamount, which is a rich fishing ground. The mapping of the seamount in Guadu was a um, really important piece of work and I think also the scientists hypothesizing that uh, the Maldives itself is acting like a trapping zone. I think this is a um, very important uh, discovery. The volcanic subsea strata and fossilized carbonate reefs which form the base of the Maldivian atolls combine steep vertical cliffs and shelving terraces that have been extensively investigated and sampled by Maldivian scientists and their international colleagues aboard the 34-day Necton mission. The expedition, which was a joint partnership with the Maldives Marine Research Institute, has been deemed a success on a range of scientific fronts. And with discoveries like these, scientists may well believe that there's more to be discovered under the ocean water. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.